The race to Shargross there is supporting Wood Green, the animal's charity. If you want to donate, use the link on the screen now and make sure you put the name of the YouTuber you are supporting in the message on the Just Giving page. Thanks guys. Hi guys, Snaydotty here. Welcome back to the race to Shargross Lair. Jimmy has left me. Jimmy has gone off and done some other stuff. I think, I think he's made the next gateway. He's got the gateway key. He's opened up the portal to the Dreadlands. The Dreadlands is where we need to go next. That is where Shargroth lives. That is the whole point of this series. If you guys don't know what this series is about, go back to episode one. We were given a task by the king to go and rid the world of Shargroth, the evil man, the evil person, the evil character, the evil monster. We don't know what he is. No one's ever seen Shargaroth. Who is he? We do not know. We are close to finding out. We are close to getting to his lair. This whole series, though, is in aid of Wood Green, the animal's charity, as the introduction man, the very nice man of the introduction, said, if you want to donate, use the link in the bottom right-hand corner and you can help us raise money. We're coming towards the end now, so it's your last chance, probably one of your last chances to get some money together for Wood Green, the animal's charity. Use that link. If you want to learn more about Wood Green, there is a link in the description as well. You'll also find the donation link there. and You can, you can learn all there is to learn about Wood Green. I need to head back to um to to our to our portal i bricked myself in here in the last episode i died rather badly um am i gonna be able to run back safely do you think let's try let's try and run back safely i've got food it should be good let's see if we can get back without getting uh without getting killed there's the portal just here oh look there is a new portal jimmy has made the other portal now before i go in there i can't go in there just yet because oh, it changes color look <gasps> um we can't go back in there yet because I need to make some stuff. I don't know if Jimmy's made it. Um, if he has made it, uh, if he has made it, I will know because there'll be stuff gone from our inventory. But there's a lot of stuff I know we had in our inventory um, that lets us make two things. Firstly, we need to make um, a transmutator, I think it's called. Um, hello, zombie. I don't need you, I'm afraid. I'm going to just run straight past you. A transmutator. I know I could turn to a bat, but I'm, I'm running. Um, a transmutator, and a, and then we need to get the bits together for the altar to see Shargroth himself. Now, the altar we can't make all of yet, uh, but I was looking at this. I was looking at this um, before I started. I know you need to make the altar of Shargroth there. You could use the top of the altar is made with dreaded cloth and dread, uh, dreadium ingots. Or dread cloth, rather, and dreadium ingots. And the bottom is made using the dreadium ingots, more dread cloth, and dread stone. Oh, and dreaded shard of abyssal knight. I don't know how those things are. Whether we find those things in the other world, I don't know. But I thought, I'm hoping Jimmy's still got the key on him. I mean, that's what he's used to make that, that red portal. I'm hoping he's still got that on him. But I know, I know I need some bones, and I need some sticks and a bucket. So I'm going to take those with me. Uh, let's just dump off all this stuff we don't need. Hang on, let's just dump... Uh, Eye of the Abyss. Oh, uh, I guess Jimmy's dealt with that, has he? I got that from, from Shargaroth. Not Shargaroth, um, Azura. Uh, oh, can I eat this? <gasps> can I eat this? Did, did that make any... Why did, why, did I not, why did I not get any noise there? What did the, the, I don't know. Very strange. Um, right, uh, we'll keep the golden apples, we'll keep the steak. Don't need dirt, don't need arrows. Get rid of the abyssal stone that I just broke. I'll take, the, take that with me, the food and stuff. I'll take my Necronomicon, although I think Jimmy's got the better Necronomicon now. Uh, but I'll take that one with me anyway. Um, so I need, what do I need? I need sticks. Amazing, we've got none. That's because I didn't type in stick. There we go, we've got some sticks. Okay, I need some sticks. I need some bones. We've got some bones. I'll take some bones. I've got bones. I'll take some bones with me as well. Uh, a bucket as well. We need a bucket. We haven't got any bucket. We've got a water bucket. We've got any iron. I know I could get rid of the. I know I could get rid of the water, but we've got something. Let's just make a couple of. That's not how you make a bucket, snake. That's not how you make a bucket. That's how you make a bucket. We'll take a couple of buckets. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm assuming you can get back from the other world, but two sticks, a bucket, uh, and bones. Yep, I think we've got everything we need. The other thing I need to make is that transmutator. Now I haven't transmutation. Now Jimmy hasn't made one, so he. I wonder if he's gone in that other dimension. I hope he's not stuck in there. Um, right, transmutation, transmutation, transmutator. Here we are. Right, this is what we need to make. So we need to make a Corallian, the Corallian bricks, which I'm sure we've got some of. Uh, blocks of refined Corallium, um, and transmutation gem, and the liquid Corallium. We know we've got. I know I've got them. Those that we haven't got, but I guess I'll make them out of refined Corallium. 
Uh, right, Corallium bricks. Oh, we've got loads. Oh, no, that's Corallium. Oh, there's the refined Corallium. Okay, well, I need some of them. I need to make two refined. There we go. Two of them. One, two. Let's put all those away. Where uh, We have got Corallium bricks. Okay, cool. How um, many did I need of those? I can't remember. Uh, five. Okay, we need you five. So I could put away... Uh, put away those. And we needed, what else did we need? We needed the, the transportation gem and the liquid corallium bucket. Uh, there's one liquid corallium bucket, that's good. That's good. And the transmutation gem, we have one of, what are these? Power star, oh yeah we, use, yeah, we need those. Do we need those? Don't know if we need them or not. Not sure. Okay, right, let's make our transmutator. Let's get that sorted. Boom. That is done. We have our transmutator. Excellent. Oh, I didn't need any of that stuff because I've already got the stuff in there. Uh, what was a break all laws of physics? Right, I don't know what the transmutator does. All I know was that you, I think we need it inside of the Dreadlands. I'm not sure. I don't quite know. Maybe it helps. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put it down here in case I can't pick it up again. So I'm thinking, I think probably we should be safer to go into a bat, I think. Turn into pat the bat. Let's just turn to pat the bat. So that we can... Uh, we can safely fly into the other area, into the Dreadlands. Um, in case there's any mobs there, I don't know. I don't know if there are. Let's get into the let's get into the uh, the Dreadlands now. Let's go through into the other area, whatever it was called. Here we go. What was this area called? Can't even remember now. Can't remember what this is called. But we're heading. What was this one? Is this, the, is this the Abyssal? Yeah, the Abyssal. Great gateway, isn't it? This is the Abyssal area. Right, Dreadlands. Here we go. Here we go. This is terrifying. I don't know what this land's like. All I know is Shargroth lives here. And, oh wow, it's very red. Very red and very purple. I guess that's to be expected. Oh, hello. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Chicky, look at the chickens. There's cows. Oh, these, these guys have got... Let's just kill these dread guys. Let's see that these are dread guys. Let's see if these... Are they getting bigger or is that just me? That's me, I think. <sighs> Cow doesn't seem very, very friendly either. Seems like he's following me. Everything seems evil. Um, right, let's just kill these guys. Take a bit of time to kill them, but we're okay. We're getting there. Let's kill these off. Like I said, I don't know where Jimmy's gone. There's no signs or anything saying Snake, I've gone this way or anything, which is a bit, a bit concerning. Um, ah, there's one dead. Right, okay. What we, was it? Oh, that's that stuff we need. Yes. Okay. Cool. Right. I don't need to call you then. Should I kill him anyway, just in case he drops anything else? He might drop some other stuff that we need, maybe. At right, 29. Oh, there's another one just coming to the mix now. No, I don't, don't want two of you. Just don't need two of you. There's another one. He drops another one of those things. Okay, right. Let's kill the cow. Let's see what that drops. Oh, glowstone. Oh, I've been poisoned. Oh, no. No, no, no. Phew. Let's eat some food. Let's eat some food. Right, let's just make sure we're fully hungered up. There we go, right. Uh, what did I get from the cow? I got sulfur and I got just rotten flesh. Okay, it doesn't look like that's gonna give us anything good. Right, we need to make a pot we need to make a um a a waypoint here. Uh, new waypoint, uh, portal to abyssal. There we go, save. Close, so that's good. That was our portal made. Um, yeah, and we need to we need to get to I think I think if I'm right in saying, I think Shargross Lair is in a Dreadlands Mountains biome. So this is under the map there. It says this is a Dreadlands Forest biome. So we need to look for Dreadlands Mountain. Are, are we going to be lucky enough for this to be a mountain biome right here? This is a purified Dreadlands. So no, this is not a Dreadlands Mountain biome. Okay, so we need to look for. Dreadlands Mountains. I think that's all we need. I know there's a lot of stuff we need to make all the stuff. Um, I mean, we've got what have we got? We've, to make to make the altar, we need we need to get dreaded cloth, which is made from string, leather, and dread fragments. I don't know where you get dread fragments from. Maybe you kill. Do you kill the mobs to get dread fragments? We can go back and get leather. That's not a problem. Um, so we need. How many of those do we need? We need three pieces there and four, so we need four pieces of that. So that's okay. So we need, we need like 16 pieces of dread fragment, lots of string, which you've probably got back at base. We may even find some of these. They may, may even be in buildings. I don't know. I really don't know. 
Um, and then we need dread stone, which I'm guessing we can maybe mine. Uh, and dread me dreadium ingots. I'm not sure. Not sure about dreadium ingots. Um, really not sure about that. I'm guessing we can. Is this dread stone here? If this is dread stone. This is dread stone. Okay, hang on then. So if I mine this, what does that give us? Actually, gives us dread stone. Ah. Oh. Well, I thought it might turn into some kind of weird cobblestone, but it doesn't. Okay, this is good. This is very good. We're making good progress. Like I said, I don't know if Jimmy's already done all of this himself. Um, I'm not quite sure. There doesn't seem to be many mobs around here, which is good. Uh, right, dreadstone. We needed two pieces. So I've got enough dreadstone. So, dreadium ingots. I'm not sure how you make dreadium ingots. Um, I'll have to do a bit of research about that. Maybe it's the transmutator. Should we put that down? Should we make a? Should we make like a building? Shall I make like a building? Let's just let's just get a little house together. Um, we can make one out of um, out of some a tree. Oh, hello. Maybe you come from. Make some out of a tree. We can just, I'll just break all of this and turn this into a little hut. Then we could put our machine in there and be safe somewhere safe to go. I'll keep it near the portal as well, just for now. Um, I don't want to go too far. Like I said, I could find the Dreadlands. Um, I could find the Dreadlands Mountain biome, but I think probably Jimmy and I would be sensible to go there together, I would think. Ooh, what are you? What are you? Oh no, didn't want to do that, did I? Oh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> wow, I nearly landed on top of him. Right, what are you? How much have you got? How much health have you got? Oh, hardly any. They're very noisy though. What are you going to drop? What are you going to drop? Oh, actually, you dropped something that might be quite useful there. What are you? You're a dreadling. Okay. And you're another one of them. Oh, careful. Careful there. You just dropped coins and stuff. Right, let's have a look what this stuff is. This stuff is dreaded chunk of abyssal knight. Can that be used for anything? I don't think it can. No. Oh, hang on. Did I need that for the... No, dread fragments. Maybe I, maybe I put them together to make... I don't know, maybe I'll put them together to make something. I don't know. I'll, I'll, again, I'll do some research about that because that could be something that... Um, we probably are going to need a lot of this stuff. What are you? You're a, you're a, a dread spawn. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, dread fragments. Yes. Okay, right. So we've got to kill those things. Okay. Well, I know I know what that is, at least. I know that that's what I've got to do. So I think the first thing first, let's go back to our portal area. Um, and we'll put it we'll put it here in the red area. So I'll be able to clearly see where our house is. Um, I'm going to get our... Where's all our 41 we've got here? This will be enough to make a little house. So one, two. Let's just go five, five wide. You might need to get some more. Might go too big, but Jimmy and I both need to both go in here, don't we? So, uh, there we go. It's only three. That should be enough. That should be enough to uh, to be safe. Can I make? Can I make um, glass? I could go back and get some glass, couldn't I? Actually, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go and get glass, uh, and then we'll just literally use this stuff like this. Just put a door there, and then we'll put glass all the way round. There we go, and then we'll just literally fill this off the top. I need to get some more, so uh, one there, two, three, four. Let me get some more of it quickly. Just a little bit to make a roof. Then we have a building. Now there's purple guys as well there. I wonder if they're going to give us anything good. I think we need the red ones, don't we, for that though. How much have we got? We've got six. How many do I need for the roof? I need six. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. So now we need, now we need some, uh, I need to use an axe on a tree. Let's use some of this lovely red wood. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. Now I need a crafting table. Can I make a crafting table from, looks like I can. Can I? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, so let's put a crafting table um, inside here. And then I need to make a door, a normal door using red. I thought it'd be nice if I had a, had a nice red door there, but no, no such luck. Right, boom, there we go. Perfect, now I just need some, now I just need some glass. So I'm gonna head back 
to base, get some glass, I'm sure I've got some glass from somewhere. Let's get back to base. Oh, what have I done? Oh my. Oh, what's happened? Oh, that was, so if you go through a different one, you go through a different dimension. Oh wow, okay. So that's, that's interesting to know. That is very interesting to know. I need to make sure of that. We need to go to the purple area first, I think. Ah, okay. That could that could have been bad. We could have been stuck there forever there. There could have been no way of getting back from there. That would have been very bad. Right, I need some glass. Have I got any glass? No. Have I got any sand? Not much. Wow, okay. Um Okay, can I turn can I turn gravel into sand? I'm not sure. Right, let's quickly take that bit of sand. Let's cook. Let's just actually go and find some sand. There must be some sand around here somewhere. Was there sand down here? think there was, wasn't there? Some sand over there, lo loads of it. Right. Let's get some sand. Sand, there we go. Right, let's just get you. Boom, 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 boom. Need to kill myself. we falling sand. That's silly. Uh, 10 bits of sand. There's some more here. 15 bits of sand. A couple more should do us. I'll just use panes, I think. There we are, 18. That'll do. Uh, back over here. Back to the base, cook up the sand, make some glass, make some panes, put the panes in, got our house. That will do us for now. Then we just need to get all the stuff we need together for, um, uh, yeah, for oh, got more titanium there. That's cool. Right, let's get that done. Stick the titanium away. Let's put away the stuff we don't know. I'm going to keep all oh, the coins, don't need the sulfur, keep the dreadstone. Like I said, all this stuff is going to be useful to me. I don't know what the transmutator does at the moment. At this point in time, I don't know what it does. Um, have we got a furnace? Have we got any more furnaces? We've got a... We haven't got the redstone. No, we didn't make a redstone furnace, did we? Uh, right, we've got some glass. Let's get this glass sorted. And then we're close. We're close to getting everything done, I think. We're close to finding Shargaroth. Then we just have to fight him and kill him. And once we've killed him, we will we'll be, able to, uh, we'll be able to restore peace once and for all to our land. We need six pieces of glass. To make our panes, I think we need. I think we had. We need to have three, so we needed twelve. No, we need nine pieces. That's all. Actually, I think. I think. I think will be enough. I think if we just get. Um, I'll make two lots. I think just in case. Just to be safe. But yeah, we can bring peace back to our land once and for all. Um, right. So there's that. Sixteen bits of glass. I think that's more than enough. Actually, we'll let that finish that cooking off. We'll go back. Let's make sure we've got enough glass. Pretty certain we have in our little house. Make sure we go to the right dimension as well. Need to make sure we go to the right dimension. It's weird actually, this seems to have got easier the further we've gone on. Maybe just because we've got better armour, because we can fly, because we've got better weaponry, I don't know. Right, let's go through the purple one. Purple one. Oh, hang on, it's... Oh, wow, that was... Oh, hang on, what's happening? Please don't kill me. Hasn't killed me, good, we're safe. Right, here's our house, here's our purple house. Let's fly through the window. Let's fly through the window. Let's make some, put some glass in here. So no one can come through. There we go, we are safe. We're safe in our purple little house. I'll put some torches up. I don't even know if they will do any good at all. But we're gonna end it there, guys. We're gonna end it there, safe in our place. I'm gonna put the transmutator down as well. Um, I don't know what it does. Whether it needs power, I don't know. If it needs power, we can take it back. It won't be a problem. Hello. <laughs> Lots of people around. Guys, right. We're going to end it there. We're going to end it there in the Dreadlands, in the area where Shargroth lives. Is he going to know we're here? Does he know we're coming? Who knows? We need to make our altar. Hopefully in the next couple of episodes we'll be able to do that. Then we need to face off against Shargroth. I'll find out where Jimmy's gone getting back together and then we're going to take on this final challenge together so guys hope you enjoyed this episode of race to shark Ross lair please if you had can spare any cash use the link in the bottom right corner of the screen there it's also in the description to donate to wood green the animals charity let's raise as much money as we can in the time we've got left on this series and we'll see how much money we eventually do make guys thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed if you have give it a like it doesn't mean a lot to me if you can give it a like and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please also do that and i will see you very soon for some more race to shark Ross lair see you guys Bye!